At Russell Reynolds, I've been dubbed the well-being leader, kind of an unofficial title. So how did I get here? Well, last year, when the pandemic hit hard with all of my clients, I ended up spending a lot of time talking to CEOs and chief human resource officers around what they needed to do to help their leaders and their workforces. And I was shocked to hear from them how they were so concerned around the well-being, the mental health, and the emotional health of their executive leaders. These conversations went on for not days or weeks, months. And because these conversations have been so critical to the clients that I work with, I got put in a position where I felt like I had to rally and I had to make this something important in the firm at Russell Reynolds. And I brought on a few of my colleagues to help me do some research and find a way to write a white paper that would bring this to the forefront. And we did. And from there, I got asked by some of the leaders at Russell Reynolds to really bring this to the forefront of how we think about our workforce. So now, once a month, for about 45 minutes, I get to host a Zoom call with about 40 to 60 colleagues and help them through understanding mindfulness, meditation, and well-being. It's pretty dope.